Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it bumping. We on the top, woo, woo. 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 Had to get it with my guys, never stop, woo, woo. Mr. Go. No Zion, no Trey. You guys were still able to take care of business. Just, uh, what'd you like about what you guys did tonight? Um, share the basketball. We got stops on the defensive end, and we executed our defense and offense. Um, we knew what Chicago wanted to do out of the pick and roll. We knew where um, some of their weaknesses was, and we attacked it all night. Guys shot, got threes up. We got to the lane. We got to the free throw line, and um, Dejounte ran ran the group today. Yeah, I mean, uh, what was it like, you know, being out there and you know, I get a real game with Dejounte. Um, he struggled to score at first, but, you know, still got his little bit, I think, 10 assists, too. Yeah, uh, well, it's, it's really fun because when you when you notice he's struggling, he's doing other things on the basketball floor and defensively, um, offensively, like you say, he had 10 assists tonight. And looking up at the, the scoreboard, you see it on, on, the, um, on the scoreboard, and you're like, damn. So, you know, we got a lot of the guys that do some different things. CJ was big for us today. He knocked down some huge threes and got to the lane. It was really, really efficient. And uh, big fella, Ease, he did a great job tonight. At rim running, blocking shots, finishing around the rim. He's going to be really good. How does it uh, change things offensively when you have – I guess more of the pure point guard type and, and DeJounte out there? Oh, well, I guess you just find space. Um, you try to find openness. He's an um, open communicator, so I'm able to let him know where, where my reads are, where I'm open at, and um, he's receptive to, receptive to information. Was tonight a, a glimpse of how much Misi can, can help this team you know, going forward? I hope so. Um, you know, it's a great night. Uh, adrenaline is up, uh, but I can I can say that he puts in the same consistent work every single day. So I'm sure he will get better and better. You had such a great camp. Uh, coaches talked about it. Teammates talked about it. And then you come out tonight and in season opener, yeah. you put up the most points in your career in an opener. Did you feel good offensively? You know, just did you feel like you had that? Um, not that it's been inconsistent for your game, but did you just feel good today on the offensive end, just know that you could get to your spots? Oh, uh, yeah. Um, I felt free. You know, my conditioning was was not great today. But that was um, a plus for me because I felt like uh, I just continued to push. I found my shots in the rhythm of the offense, and I just continue to stay aggressive. I'm sure my conditioning will get better, and I think I will be um, even more efficient in, in my play. Uh, but, you know. My teammates found me. I found some open threes. I got to the rim, got to the free throw line a little bit, and you know my my offense just flowed. And then um, also, it just seemed like uh, you guys were able to do so many of the things that you wanted to do on both ends of the floor. The things you're trying to do. Be also as good as and successful as it was tonight. What are the things you first walk away from and be like before you even look at the film and you say, "I know we need to do better at." Yeah, um, some of my timing on defense, some of my timing was off. We got lucky a few times with some deflections, um, some some closeouts for myself um, where we let where I let Zach Levine get a shot up and some shooters get hot. You know, we was lucky that Kobe White wasn't wasn't on the night shooting the three ball, and I think we got some great contests. But just uh, the little details, just contesting shots, rebounding the basketball, and um, you know, just being being there for each other on the defensive side. We, we know you're really good operating in that elbow area, but the coaches got you down the post a couple times on some mismatches closer to the rim. Just, yeah. what, do you, what do you like about that configuration? Um, closer to the rim, some easier shots. Um, I'm able to, you know, shoot over some smaller defenders and um, move around some, some bigger defenders. So, you know, me and Borrego have been kind of working every day and, He's on me about posting low and not settling. So um, that was an example today. Well, a couple of examples today. Yeah, just what's, what's been the emphasis from, from Coach Brego overall just beyond the, the, the posting low? Um, just staying strong down there, getting the shot that I want, taking my time, um, knowing the space, just um, just some basketball terminology. But the coaches have also like kind of talked about how they're encouraging you to become more of a rim and, and three guy. Just what's been that 
dialogue like, and, and what's been the adjustment for you? Because you know, we, we know you're talented in, in the area as well. Yeah, um, I guess the adjustment for me is um, just knowing when I'm settling and when I'm not. Um, knowing that I'm, I'm great at the mid-range shot, but knowing when I'm letting the defense off the hook, um, extending the defense on the three-point line, um, taking open threes, sometimes threes when I got a shorter defender on me. Um, just kind of knowing the difference between me settling and me actually taking a good shot. And speaking of that, you had uh, a few pull-up threes just right off a, a high screen just at the top of the key. Uh, that seemed to be a very comfortable shot for you. Are you do you agree with that? Yeah, I mean, it's been comfortable for a long time. I just didn't do it, you know. But something that I worked on in the summer, something that I want to continue to do, but it, it was open. And that's something that we looked at at halftime and kind of kind of saw. Is it gratifying in any particular way to have a game one like this yeah. on the heels of the offseason speculation that maybe you were disengaged or, or disillusioned? Um, I mean, it's a great start. Um, but my plan is just to be free every night. Um, the other, um, I guess, attacking what matters and just being free and being there for my teammates every single night. We st still want to win. We still want to um, get better every day. I want to get better every day. So just, you know, knowing what matters and just attacking it. Yeah, I think other stuff will handle itself. To get back to Eve, I think there was this impression that maybe he was just so raw that you didn't know how much you could rely on him to, to contribute valuable minutes at the time he was drafted. Do you think a night like tonight, how far does a night like tonight go towards changing that impression? Yeah, it builds confidence um, as long as we continue to communicate with him and tell him what we want. I think he's receptive for information also. And uh, like I said, he's consistent every day in his work, so I think he'll continue to get better. However, we have a lot of really, really good bigs in this league where it's not going to be, you know, that easy every night. Or, um, maybe that's not the word, but, you know, um, I think he'll continue to get better, and he, he definitely shows some tonight. I know you don't show a lot of emotion, but you have a great relationship with the fans here in New Orleans. How did it feel tonight getting both that ovation when the starting lineup was announced, and then when you left the game, again, they, they, they erupted for you? Yeah. You know, like with all the things that have gone on for you in your time in New Orleans, and it's just been so much. How does it feel to still have that relationship? With the yeah, um, you know, I, I I'll be honest. I was when I'm playing or when I'm trying to go into the game, I don't really notice a lot of that. But I I really appreciate it. You know, playing off of love, playing um, with people that's that's with you, that you know that's with you, and surrounded by love. It's always great. It always gives a a good energy in the building and um, you know I'm thankful for it for sure. Westside, Westside, Westside. Yeah, they got yeah. it bumping. We on the top, woo, woo, we on the top, woo, woo, we on the top, woo, woo. Had to get it with my guys, never stop. Woo, woo. Mr. Go and split the pie.